Hey guys, and how's it going? It's uh, one of those kind of days. One of those days. Good day to work on something in the garage. So that is the battle plan. So this bus, especially known as Loose Lucy, has been in storage over the course of the winter. And uh, winter, I think, is finally trying to be over. <laughs> but uh, I want to get some stuff knocked out on this for the season that's kind of coming up. And a couple of things that I grabbed over the winter time was uh, safari windows. I go on the front safari windows are the two pieces of glass in the front, these. And what they have is they're hinged and you can flip them up straight up or have them in a totally closed position anywhere in between there. These are still running the old seals, so it's not like I'm gonna lose anything as far as uh, what I'm taking out. They were pretty beat up and when it rains, water gets in anyhow. Uh, I did pick up some new seals of these, the original glass, but we're not going to need those, hopefully. So I think we're going to go take some time. I want to uh, go over this thing. I also want to throw the trailer hitch, trailer hitch back on the back of it, just for the sake of putting things back together that have parts missing because I'm trying to clean up the yard and sometimes when you do that, uh, things that you need for something get uh, separated for life. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen by getting all the bits and pieces on all the things that have bits and pieces hanging off of them. So enough chitter chat. Let me, uh, I'm probably going to go square this thing up on the lift, get it up in the air, maybe just knock out the uh, trailer hitch. I so I decided to go get the uh, stuff out of the shed that I got over the winter time. Again, it was a used set, obviously. And what you have, and what you can see, this is goes in the center of the windshield. This would be welded in. You were able to screw them into, but it really doesn't hold up well. So they end up getting welded in. He, uh, of course, had to remove this from his bus, so they're a little bit more worse for wear just from having to go do that. And then on each end, one goes on each side of the bus, uh, outer sides of each window that these guys lock into so there's a hinge on top these guys allow the window to pivot on those guys and you can lock them wherever you want and then when the windows all the way closed you have these latches that latch down to these guys which also get welded onto the body so unfortunately it kind of screws up the paint on the inside of the bus and this one's kind of nice but I guess you have to do what you have to do sometimes right the other problem is the paint on them has gone kapooey in a couple of spots. You see on this one right there, and then wherever it's going to bubble is going to just come right off anyway. So where there's bubbling will need to be addressed. So I think that would probably be our best bet is uh, Clean these up as best as possible and uh, probably spray bomb them. I'm not going to get into mixing. But let's get these guys a little detailed and then while the paint's kind of drying, we can use that time for screwing around with some other things. Let's see what they got on them for stickers. Baseball permit. And then a sticker from the wrong state. I guess these were taken out in 2013, 2014, so four years ago or so. Oh, I forgot a piece. These are the seals. What happens, like normally the glass is sandwiched between a piece of rubber and the window frame of the bus. So you're not going to have that anymore. You have to have a seal that stays on the bus and then the, the metal frame touches against it. And that's what these are. So these will stay in the gap where the old seals were. I think I'd grab some lacquer thinner. I want to get rid of any oils that are on it. You see up by the hinge there. All that crap. I don't want to sand that stuff into the paint. Let's see if we can kind of get rid of that. Not have it to contaminate what we want to try to repaint it. It looks like you can take them apart. I don't know if that's going to be a great idea or not, though. I mean, I think the finished product 
of course, you know, the paint line on the seal would be good, but I'd be afraid I'm not gonna be able to get it back in there. I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, screws right there. I don't know how well that's gonna go back together. And I guess if um if I'm able to get it out of the frame, I can get it in the sandblaster and it'll get all the crap off of it. So I say we try on this one and we'll just kind of do a little teaser and see if it doesn't go if get totally messed up or if it uh, will even come apart. So I'm going to see if I can find a good finding, uh, good fitting screwdriver for that. I would think those suckers would be loctited in there, but who knows. I also don't want to be putting a lot of pressure on that glass. Feels like it wants to strip it. I'm gonna go hook around from some other screwdrivers. If any of these play a little better. There we go. Two more in the top corner and see what we get. What do you think? They're just falling apart. <laughs> How much tapping do you want to do on something like this? What if we take a little screwdriver between the two of them? Try and give them a little gentle persuasion. Gentle, I say. You get one, you get the other. Let's try the other side, see if it's got a little bit more room. I'm rocking. Tap on glass. I'm gonna work on that. All this fails. Get out your hammer. I got about an eighth inch gap opened up on that side. Let's see. What we can do on this. I want to try to get, put some pressure back with the jack, the bracket. Sucker cracks, they just throw it all in the garbage. Cherry to hit on that one. That's why I need a friend to hold this edge for me. Wanna grab that? So I went for a regular wood chisel with a nice sharp tip on it. It allowed me to get a bite in between. Get the same gap on each side. Old Monty, so to speak. All right, we're probably going to need ourselves something wider. Going. I have a feeling that guy is screwing me up, though. Yeah. 
Okay. Just hanging off the edge. Do just that. So we are free around the neck one. Seems like it's really stuck over there though. Yeah, it's caught on this corner, and that top corner. I know spraying soapy water on it would help put it together. I don't know if it's going to help us right now, though. I think we're going to go beat on it with a hammer and see if that will... Crappy hammer. Crappy snap-on hammer. there you know there's some warning on YouTube somewhere on the internet saying don't ever try to take them apart yeah. nerve-wracking proposition I would say Take those and we'll throw them in the Z old sandblaster. Get all that crap off of them. We'll turn it back now. Noise alert. Let's see if I can do this one handed. It's going to get loud right about now. <laughs> Can't see anyway. So you're gonna have to change in the sand. The sand blaster was going to take forever. It's kind of almost like a a baked on finish. So I decided to make the executive decision to get out some old paint stripper. Throw that on there. We'll let that go do its thing, and hopefully that makes it more. I, I was kind of like thinking about just leaving it and feathering in, you know, into the good material. But let's see how far we can kind of take it. And we're only doing one because if we screw one up, there's no sense doing the other. And I go on the internet and I buy a new set. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that soak up. I'm gonna go like I was gonna do on the bus and get it up on the lift and get the trailer hitch on it and put back together and we can jump back and forth between this stuff. Sun's back out. Good. Burn all that stuff off. It's supposed to go up to 81 in two days. It'd be nice to have those windows in there. Let's give it a shake test. You guys are wondering why I'm putting the trailer hitch on the VW bus. It is a bit ironic, but I watched the roof. But I have an old uh, wooden boat. Weighs probably, I don't know, 800 pounds with the trailer. So up to about a thousand pounds, you're good. Maybe a little bit more. 
that's the hitch I thought about throwing a little bit of paint on it but that lasted about a minute I thought I made this out of a beetle hitch so that triangle right there that triangle piece right there is for beetle and then this is all just me 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 made all that part of it so this bolts up by the transmission tunnel grabs it two points there grabs it there and there on the back frame of the bus and then this is the rear bumper it pinches this plate between the uh, bumper on the inside of the bumper on the inside of the bumper and underneath it kind of sandwiches it and gives it some distance across I feel I'm just gonna put that on without turning the camera on because that won't be pretty here we'll go well, underneath I'll see how this one's doing they make it any light for us? Hopefully you guys can see fairly decent. And we need batteries. You can see where that floor was patched in where there's no corrugated over in this area. This is new. I made these. Yeah, pretty much like the new bus that showed up. All the same stuff. And then I shot it with oil. I'm gonna coat it. Valve cover's leaking. Heat's tied forward. I can untie those. That summer's here. More homemade stuff. This side was done. I patched it where it needed to be. Just found this at the uh, end of the year in the last swap meet. The pants always missing. Is everybody, whoever uh, changes the cable or does anything with the brakes, it's the very first thing they take off and it never goes back on. It's kind of like the the middle seat. They come out and they never go back in. So it looks good. I don't see anything uh, turning rusty colors. That's a good sign. The steering box is wet. That's wet from me shooting it with oil, though. So it's the underneath of the pan. It's just me. That wasn't so bad. It's on there. It's just that you need two hands. Two knees, your chin, kind of hold all the spots together. So this is where the engine transmit, and this the bracket that was on top pinches this whole section and reinforces this whole section, and then this is kind of a stop to, to key it into place so it can't go and slide off. It grabs it there, and that's the same on a beetle. That came the frame on the side. I have a. Um, a patch of steel inside there to help kind of spread the footprint out on what it's grabbing and space around the bumper too. I think this is a weight bench uh, rod, I, I think. That's why it's so heavy. And then just the rear what grabs the bumper and it sandwiches a piece of metal on top to again kind of cast a wider pinch on the sheet metal. And this is also kind of, in my opinion, kind of adds to like a frame underneath it. You're just helping support stuff a little bit better. Plus, if you skid over something, it kind of protects everything underneath from uh, getting damaged. And if somebody kind of backs into you, or these things are not exactly the easiest to, to see out of the back. If you back into something, it gives you something to hit before you start mushing up the bumpers. You know, so let me take a little bit of a, a bump. Good to go. Let's go see how that uh, paint strip is doing. I got a glove up. Let's just see. It's already kind of dry already. Looks like it has to peel off though. Looks like it kind of works. I wonder if I should wet that again or 
Uh, I'm going to glove up and scrape that down what I can, and then I'll give it another shot. Wire brush might work good, too. Yeah, it would scrape off. I just um, let it get a little too dry, so you can see where I globbed her all back on there again. And uh, if I catch it a little bit earlier, it should do the trick much better. So, I am going to go start getting that window torn down to get it caught up with this one now that we got a routine of what we're going to do. Or we put one window in. <laughs> well, I must say, that was a thorough pain in the ass. I think we got them pretty good. A little bit on the inside of it that's kind of fighting me, but uh, the outside got 100%. I'm going to go cuff that up with a... Uh, Sandpaper. Uh, give it a good tooth after I wipe it down for paint and then on to number two. Number two went much easier just because now I know where to tap and how to move things. I had it apart in two minutes. So uh, do the same thing, put it much heavier on, don't let it dry up, and uh, see if we get that one knocked out. I want to have more rust on it. But that's why we're doing what we're doing, right? So these two guys are uh, pretty much ready to hit with primer. They are wiped down, sanded, and taped off. This one's still playing catch up though. So while I'm going through the steps on that, I figure we can kind of go try some paint. And see how close we come to what's on the bus. So I'm just going to do spray bombs for now. I thought I had some actual leftover from the white that's on top. But I do not. I have red. Not the white. I was hoping I had some too because when I go to uh, do the weld in between the uh, windows and color that back in again, it would be nice to have. So, anyway, shake them up. We'll try uh, a couple of different ones. We'll see what gets closest to the window. See if we can get away with uh, a spray bomb. So, the primer is going to be the primer. So we'll just hit the whole thing. Yeah, we're not going for looks here. We're just going to see how well it's going to match. And I have two different whites. This one is... Must be that color. <laughs> Let's see if it even sprays. Oh, that's a good mix. It didn't like that. Primer's not dry. And then we're going to have... I'm heating up a thing of water right now so I can soak them. They seem like they are almost the same and they seem like they're very yellowish. I'm going to let that part of it dry. I'm going to look see if anything a little bit more whiter. This one more... This one is more of a white. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I bought it to what's already there right now. Hmm. Let's go see if anything's even remotely close. Actually, it's kind of in between the two of them. I would say it's more the almond one than it is the white one. And the other place that we're going to be concerned about is the dash. I think the dash is the same color. The white's too white and the almond's too almond. There needs to be something in between those two. So, I think I'll get something mixed up. I may not paint anything today. I think I may just uh, try to get these all framed, cleaned up, get them prepped, and uh, maybe go get some decent stuff to uh, do what we need to do. And it just so happens that I found probably about, probably about an inch in the bottom of the can. Hopefully it's not reduced yet. A name. Where is it? Beige gray. Description. Beige gray. 
So that is what I was talking about to save to blow in around the insides where the welding is going to happen and then blend back into the rest, rest of the bus. But we don't have to paint the frames to match the windows. Um, even from the factory, I don't think it was that way. I think, yeah, you can see the color difference between, between these two. This is whiter than this is. So, and is this? I think this is too. I forget. That one looks like it matches. You can see the, you may be able to see the difference between the two. Anyway, the point of that is we could paint those frames whatever color we want to, uh, or we could make it just match the, uh, the inside, all depending on how much you got left. And I'm just rambling. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> and I got some paint, though. <laughs> Stop it. Well, my goal was to try to get both of them into at least primer tonight, but I don't think that's going to happen. One more. That should be the last uh, coating and uh, rub down. It still has to go through the, the sandblaster, wire wheel, sandpaper, cleaner. Etc. So I got the self etching primer, kind of heat up a little bit in some hot water, so it thins out. And we're going to at least get these uh, two bear guys with a coat on them and uh, move them to the further back. And then I want to at least get these guys to where I, I rinse them off of water so the acid stops doing its thing. So that's where I think I'll probably stop on that. But let me get these painted up and uh, see how that goes. It says two to three light coats. It's already a run. <laughs> that sucks. Victory is mine. I got them both done. It's good because I want to let them set up for a while and uh, kind of cure up. The I'll pick up some a better white paint, just like a gloss white, and uh, that'll match the side windows. I think we're on our way. As long as all goes back together well, we'll be all set. Till tomorrow. So it's like the next day, I don't know, 14 hours later, and those guys are pretty much all nice and dry. And uh, took care of the boo-boo of the run that was in them. But also went and did a run. Had to go pick up some stuff. And one of the things I went and grabbed was some uh, just some gloss white. I think it was spray a little bit of that on there just to make sure that that's going to be compatible with the side windows. Yeah, as long as that's good. We'll top coat them. That. It's a little whiter. We're going with it though. The uh, bus will pull that out of here and uh, get these guys sprayed up. So I'll probably do the same. We're just going to mist on a real light coat at first and we'll come back with two heavier coats. I need to do this two-handed. I usually grab where the green, where the blue paint is, tape is, to hold it from turning and get them all. But I think you get the idea. Well, guys, it's about 45 minutes later. I probably gave them four, uh, three light coats and one kind of heavy coat. Seemed to do it. Problem is the garage is super cold. It's 50 degrees in here and the stuff you're supposed to spray between 50 and 90. So I left three hours ago, turned the heat on, and unfortunately the heat didn't take. I was hoping to have it 70 in here. I have a bunch of stuff I need to get done, so I had to go push forward and paint them anyway. The only problem with doing that, that's light right there. Come back and give it one more dusting. 
uh, is I got to run. Right there. So I came back with a rag and I rubbed it off and then with a hair dryer. Put a light coat on it, hit it with a hair dryer. Put a light coat on it, hit it with a hair dryer. And I kept doing that to kind of build it back up. But you can see the, the ripples in it. So we're going to have to sand that out. Probably after they're assembled. And I have a feeling after they're assembled, we're going to have to uh, uh, deal with some scratches and stuff anyway. Because the way they came apart, I have a feeling they're going to have a little bit of... Um, a time putting them back together so I, I figure we're probably gonna have to hit them up a little bit afterwards anyway but at least everything's kind of painted like you wouldn't be able to get that painted once the glass is in place obviously but you'll see that through the uh through the glass so that's it guys i think i'm gonna go wrap this one up i uh shot this through a different camera that i got sent a couple months ago from uh one of you guys and i appreciate it and it's a uh, power shot uh s110 and uh, I had to order batteries for a couple of the cameras and all. So I have this one in uh, a Casio that somebody else mailed me too that is supposed to be good for slow motion so we might be able to get into some of that. So I figured it would be a good one to crack these cameras out and we'll just try playing with them a little bit. I think the close-up focus is quite good on this one where the other one seems like when you get close to something like doing a carb kit or something it gets all fuzzy. But this one seems like it does fairly decent. <laughs> To do that, and haven't forgot about the bike. We uh, I ordered some uh, clamps for the exhaust to uh, clip off the the wrappings. We still have to test which one is going to be the better one. Clean some up, do some tune-up parts on this, and this should only have about one or two more videos left on it. And then this guy should be good to go. I love the paint on it. I think it looks great for what it is. So with that, guys, I'm going to go wrap it up and uh, let me know what you think about the, the uh, video footage, quality, sound quality, that kind of thing. And uh, we'll make decisions from there. Until the next video, guys, see you later.